Hello everyone and welcome back to Mountain Lion Park here on the north side of campus of UCCS in Colorado Springs, Colorado. We've got a big series this weekend as the ore diggers of the Colorado School of Mines are in town to take on the Mountain Lions. The Mountain Lions need a couple of wins out of this series to ensure their spot in the Armac tournament. Colorado Christian University hot on their heels, just a win behind them, looking to get into the RMAC tournament as well. So the Mountain Lions need to take care of business here at home in the final series of the regular season. For the Ore Diggers, they're looking pretty good as far as the tournament goes. Still could be in jeopardy if this series goes sour for them. They're sitting at 14 and 14, right at 500 in conference play. The Mountain Lions look to put some stress at the end of the season for the Ore Diggers. For the pitching matchup here in game one, for the hometown Mountain Lions out there on the bump to start is Cole Phillip. Comes in with a 7.8 ERA. He is 3-3 three and three record-wise on his season. This will be his 11th start of the year. He has made three non-starting appearances on his season. For the Ore Diggers, it's going to be Ben Showman getting the ball to start. Brings with him a 6.3 ERA. He is also sitting at three wins and three losses. This will be his 10th start of the season for Showman. We'll see him out there on the mound in the bottom half of the first inning. Defensively for UCCS to get things started in the outfield, Hayden Iverson, Aaron Brackle, Casey Campbell in the wide open green at third base is Vander Hodges, Roden Hella at shortstop with Brady Latchman at second, Caleb Stubbings at first base with Evan Steinberger catching strike one from Cole Phillip. And we are underway here in game one of this final regular season series. At the plate is Jackson Woolwin, and he slaps this one foul out of play on the first base side. Quickly 0-2 as Woolwine will play center field. We'll get you the rest of the starting batting order for the Ore Diggers in just a moment. But first, an 0-2 pitch from Cole Phillip. That one just misses outside. Good spot, 0-2 from Phillip. Doesn't get the call. It's 1-2 on Woolwine. Good pitchers count for Phillip still. The 1-2. That one's in the dirt. For the Ore Diggers offensively in the two-hole on deck right now is Mason Andrews. He'll be out in right field. Garrett Nielsen in left is batting third. Adam Hotailing, who loves playing here in Colorado Springs, is at first. This is a fair ball. Long throw for Hodges. Stubbings can't handle it, and trying to move up on the play is Woolwine, and he will. We'll see how they score it. I imagine it... Is going to be a two-base error, as I believe the throw would have beat Woolwine to first base if Stubbings was able to secure it. And it will go down as an error. Standing on second base, a leadoff base runner in this game, Jackson Woolwine, in scoring position for Mason Andrews now at the plate. Pick up on the lineup. Adam Hotailing, the Mount Lions only got him out once or twice all weekend last year when Colorado School of Mines visited Colorado Springs. See if they have more luck with Hotailing this year as he is in the hole now. One and one at the plate on Andrews. In the five hole is Danny McDermott, brother of Mount Lion freshman pitcher Joe McDermott. Luke Folsom in the designated hitter position here in game one as that one's just foul down the first baseline. One and two. Caden Bonds at second base. He'll be batting seventh. Ely Shu, who has hit very well against the Mount Lions in his collegiate careers in the eight hole at shortstop. And Ryan Vermeer behind the plate catching balls and strikes. Be batting ninth. Runner on second, nobody out. One and two on Mason Andrews. This one fouled out of play. There's a good battle at the plate from Andrews. Yeah, 
Straight up defense. Hella checking at second just for a moment. Again, this one was a hanging curveball left out there from Phillip, but Andrews couldn't take advantage as he just misses it again, fouling it out of play. Beautiful day here in Colorado Springs. Sun is out. Temperature the low 60s, a couple clouds in the sky, but nothing disrupting the view of the field. That one's just outside. Good leave there from Andrews, two and two. Andrews comes into the day with the 341 average, looking to build on it. Putting together quite the at-bat here. Working it all the way back, and the count is now full. Cole Phillip struggling to get an early out in this game. Three and two, nobody out, runner on second. And that one's left outside as well. Going to first base is Andrews. Now batting the left fielder, number 28, Garrett Nielsen. That'll bring up Nielsen. A fielder here today for the Ore Diggers. 389, his average. He started all but one game this year for the Ore Diggers, but has played in all 41. Takes ball one high as Phillip still struggles to find the zone. First and second, nobody out here for the Ore Diggers, threatening in the first. That one's inside as well, 2-0. Slight breeze coming in from right field as that one finds the zone. Oh, that one looked like it was going to be there, but call the ball 3-0. and oh. Mark Moffitt behind the plate here today. Veteran umpire here in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. That one's at the knees for strike one. The 3-1, fouled straight back, 3-2. and two. Nice job this time from Phillip working back in the count. Phillip sets, checks on second, fires the payoff, swung on and missed. Strike three for out number one on Nielsen. And that'll bring up the tough hoteling. Number 15, Adam Hoteling. Hoteling hitting at a 352 clip coming into the day. But as we said, he loves playing here at Mountain Lion Park. First pitch to him is Right at the knees, inside for strike one. Good placement. Open the at-bat from Phillip, a very tough spot to get to for a hitter. That low and inside corner, that one's gonna be away. One and one. Runner at second is Jackson Woolwine, reached on an error to lead off the game. Mason Andrews behind him, walked. He's at first. 1-1. One, one. On the ground, this could be two for UCCS. There's one. On to first, double play. Great job working back from Cole Phillip to get out of the early jam and keep this one scoreless. We're headed to the bottom of the first.
Back here at Mountain Lion Park for the bottom of the first inning. And we say hello to Ben Showman as he delivers ball one outside, one and one, on Hayden Iverson to lead things off for UCCS. Offensively, we'll get you the lineups here in just a moment. These two sides as that one's outside as well. First offensively for UCCS, Hayden Iverson in the box right now leading off in left field. Evan Steinberger waits on deck. He's doing the catching. Caleb Stubbings at first base is in the three hole as that one is inside as well. Three and one on Iverson. In the cleanup spot is the double machine. Brad Madison in the designated hitter position. Casey Campbell out and rights batting fifth with the second baseman, Brady Latchman. Batting six is going to first on a leadoff walk is Hayden Iverson. Get the Mount Lions started. In the seven hole, Aaron Brackle out in center field. Vander Hodges in the eight hole at third base with Ronan Hella in his typical nine hole spot at shortstop, the freshman for the Mount Lions. Safe at first, a very close pickoff play as they almost caught Hayden Iverson sleeping. Very good move on the mound from Shoneman as well. Mines thought they had him again. Iverson, they check on him, but Hotaling dropped the ball this time around. Still no pitches into the plate for Steinberger. Shoneman comes set. First pitch to Steinberger is going to paint that outside corner for strike one. Defensively for the Ore Diggers, Garrett Nielsen out and left. Jackson Woolwine in center with Mason Andrews in right field. Danny McDermott at third, Ely Shu at short with Caden Bonds at second base. Adam Hotaling, as we've mentioned, over there at first. And Ryan Vermeer catching balls and strikes from Shoneman behind the plate. One and one on Steinberger as another healthy lead at first from Iverson. No check, that one's outside, two and one. That one swung on and missed. Two and two, the count evens on Steinberger. Heavy heater out of the hand of Shoneman. See what he goes to, the even count. A quick throw back over to first again. Rolls out of the glove of Hotaling. And Iverson is safely back to the bag. Now the two, two. That one's outside, count is full. Steinberger trading time with Tyler Richardson behind the plate for the Mount Lions. Being 349 out of the two hole. The three two pitch strikeout at the plate. Able to get under the tag though is Hayden Iverson as he swipes second base and moves himself into scoring position. The throw from Vermeer was way ahead of Iverson. But he was able to get his hand underneath as Chu had to play the throw on a hop and he's into second. One out for Caleb Stubbings. Strike one right down the middle on the wrinkle pitch. 0-1 on Stubbings the last time we were here at Mount Lion Park against CCU. Caleb Stubbings had a five home run weekend. Nice play. They're going to go to third and get the lead runner, Iverson. So fielder's choice on the ground ball for Caleb Stubbings. But he stands at first. So first, runner on first, I should say. Two outs as Brad Madison steps in. Madison missed a little bit of time in the middle of the season for the Mount Lions. After in that same CCU series, he was at the plate, swung and kind of tweaked something that looked like in his back. 
Had to take a couple series off as Stubbings dives back on the pickoff attempt. He's back in the lineup now. Seems like every time he plays, he has at least one double. They check it first. Check swing did not go around for Madison. It's 2-0. Oh. Oh, 2-0 pitch way outside, 3-0. Wind gust starting to pick up, now blowing out to left field, across the field, right to left. 3-0 with two outs on Madison. That one's right down the middle, taking the whole way was Brad, 3-1. Another offering, and that one's left high. And jogging to first with the two-out walk. Brad Madison finds his way on. Up to second is Stubbings as Casey Campbell will take a turn here in the first. First pitch to Campbell. This one's on the ground to second base. Up with it, Bonds will go to first. And then the threat for UCCS. A couple of Mount Lions find their way on, but none come around to score as we stay even at zero into the second inning from Colorado Springs. Picking the right college is key. And with one-on-one -on -one attention and hands-on experience, UCCS fuels success. Apply today at uccs.edu. Back here at Mountain Lion Park to start the second inning. It'll be Danny McDermott to open the offense. The second for Colorado School of Mines. Old Phillip taking his time on the mound. Delivers first pitch heater for strike one. McDermott family known well around the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Two McDermott's playing here at UCCS. Joe, the youngest of the bunch, is a freshman pitcher for the Mount Lions this year. As this one's on the ground to second base, Latchman, easy play for him for out number one. Of course, we know all about Matt McDermott, all-American shortstop for the Mount Lions a few graduating cycles ago. Danny McDermott finishing up his career at Colorado School of Mines. Is now at the plate, Luke Folsom, who also has done damage against UCCS in past years, takes strike one. Will Phillip typically starts to settle into games the longer he goes. See how that works out today. Against the ore diggers, down from Golden. The 1-1, one, one, swung on and missed. Good inside heater. Folsom goes fishing and comes up empty. It's one and two. Pitch, way outside, two and two.
Straight up defense, both in the infield and outfield here for Folsom as that one's up and in. A little bit of a brush back pitch. Runs a count full on Folsom. Three and two, one out, the payoff. Just misses the corner. Ball four as Folsom goes to first with one out. Good spot from Phillip. Trying to find the corner of the zone as he clarifies how far out that was with the home plate umpire. All the spectators here on both sides kind of holding their breath as that one crossed the plate. First pitch is fouled off by Caden Bonds. Bonds hitting just under 300 at 295 coming into the series. That one misses low, one and one. Good movement on that curveball today so far from Phillip. He's thrown a couple for a strike. Most of them look like a strike for the most part, but staying disciplined at the plate have the ore diggers. That one's left high, two and one. Lots of spectators here at Mount Lion Park. Always traveling well down from Golden here to the Springs is all sports from Colorado School of Mines as that one's up and in as well, three and one. Lots of passionate fans up there. In Golden, like to follow their teams when they're playing the local schools. The three one to Bonds. That one's left high and back to back walks. Puts runners on first and second. Ely Shu steps in. Cemented himself as the shortstop for the Ore Diggers the last couple of seasons. Always a sure glove out there for the Ore Diggers. We saw him. I think a very nice play in the first. Got the lead runner Iverson out on a nice sliding play to his right. 1-0 pitch to him is outside 2-0. That one's inside as well, 3-0 on Shoe. Traffic in every, or excuse me, in both innings, I should say, for Phillip so far. He tries to find his command here this Friday afternoon. That one outside and a four-pitch walk and three consecutive free bases given out for Phillip. That'll bring out the pitching coach for UCCS, Mark Lee. Now batting the catcher, number 38, Ryan Vermeer. So on the second pitch of the inning, Danny McDermott rolled over Brady Latchman at second base for out number one. Since then, three straight walks given out and first, second, and third, only one out in the inning, Ryan Vermeer. First inning when Phillip faced Traffic on the bases. Adam Hotalen came up with first and second and one out. Philip was able to get him to roll over to Latchman as well for a 4-6-3 double play. Be a bad situation to find himself in again, but don't want to keep runners on bases every inning that you go out there. See how they respond as plenty of furry friends out there in the crowd today. First pitch to Vermeer, fouled back for strike one. Trying to jump on that first pitch opportunity. Ryan Vermeer just misses. 0-1. Corner slightly in for UCCS just in case. They need to cut the run off. One and one as that one's low on Vermeer. 
much straight up defense otherwise as middle infield is back and straight up in the outfield for Vermeer. 1-1. The that one just misses as well. 2-1. Pretty stingy on those corners of the zone as Moffitt been so far, but consistently so. That's all you can ask for as a player. The 2-1. That one's up and out. 3-1. Last thing you want if you're Cole Phillip is to walk in the first run of the game. Bases loaded, three and one. Set up. This one's fouled back and the count runs full. Big pitch here early in this game for Phillip. The payoff. Fouled back again. Good placement low in the zone. Tough pitch to get to if you're a hitter, but Vermeer went and wasted it out of play. He stay three and two. Phillip gets his sign and comes set. Another payoff pitch, swung on and missed. Strike three, the foul tip is held behind the plate. And a big out there for Phillip. Now has a chance to work out of it with Woolwine back at the plate. Second strikeout of the day for Phillip. Strike on Woolwine. Owen won two outs, bases full of ore diggers. The pitch fouled into the screen on the first base side, Owen two. Second straight at bat for Woolwine, he's faced an 0-2 count. Pitch, again fouled. Big early spot here for Cole Phillip, trying to keep the game scoreless. 0-2, two, two outs. Bases loaded in the second. Pitch. This one's on the ground and playable for Stubbings. He'll take it himself and step on the bag at first base. Again, it's traffic for the Mount Lions defensively, but they work out of it. We stay scoreless. Brady Latchman leading things off for the Mountain Lions in their half of the second inning. Puts down a nice bunt right in between home and the pitcher's mound, but able to make the play. Showman out from the mound for out number one. That'll bring up Aaron Brackle. Lots of base runners already for both sides, but no hits in this game for either side. 
Only number up in the box score on the scoreboard so far is the error from Vander Hodges in the first. No runs, no hits for either team. That one's in there for strike one on the outside half to Brackle. As something blowing out, looks like one of those catering containers blew out of the Mountain Lions dugout just there as the wind picking up. Odds for the extra stoppage. Swung on and missed. Nice high heater there from Schoenman. 0-2 on Brackle. Couple of walks for Schoenman in the first. Cole Phillip for the Mount Lions has handed out four free bases already just through the first two innings, but has been able to work out of it. Schoenman a little bit more efficient. 1-2, that curveball only went about 50 feet. Good block behind the plate. Not that it matters with no runners on for Vermeer. 2-2. Two and two. Hodges waits on deck. He will bat at the very least for the Mount Lions as Hilla hopes to get in that bat. In the second for UCCS. High chopper to short. Shoe up with it and beats Brackle to first. Nice job. Charging that ball on the in-between hop for Shue to get out number two. Now batting the third baseman, number 34, Vander Hodges. Vander Hodges takes his first step bat with two outs. That one's way outside for ball one. Next pitch catches the corner for strike one. We'll win these counts. Hey. One one pitch fouled out of play one and two. UCCS brings with them a four and eleven home record. Colorado School of Mines has actually preferred to play on the road this year as they sit at 11 and 10 away from Golden. They're just 8 and 12 in their home ballpark. No neutral site competitions for either of these teams this year. The 2-2, two -two, Ramir thought he was ready to run in as he started to take a step towards his dugout. The 3-2, upcoming instead with two outs. Payoff pitch is outside, and Hodges goes to first base. So we will see Ronan Hella bat here in the second. As he comes up with a two-out base runner on first. Check over to first, nothing doing over there. Ella, three home runs on his season, comes in with a 319 average as that one crosses at the knees for strike one. Yo, one swung through, 0-2 on Hella. These are the only athletic events going on on campus this weekend for UCCS. Fortunately, the softball team for the Mount Lions missing the RMAC tournament, which got started as this one's hit well. Should be playable, but misread, and it's going to drop and head over the wall for a ground rule double that actually hurts UCCS as Hodges has to stay put at third now. But that one was hit very well to center field. Thought it had a chance off the bat to go. Woolwine misread it as well off the bat. Couldn't get to it as it bounced on the track and over the wall for a ground rule double. Brings up Hayden Iverson who walked his first time up. Two 
Two runners in scoring position with two outs as ball one is delivered to Iverson. One zero. -oh. This one's hit a ton to left field. Going back and watching it fly out in left field is Nielsen. A three-run, two-out jack from Hayden Iverson puts the out lines ahead. Ninth big fly of the season for the Mount Lions left fielder. And they have a three-run lead. Thought they were out of the inning when they believe they had strike three to Vander Hodges. Instead, he walks a ground rule double from Hella and a three-run big fly from Iverson. And the Mount Lions are ahead. Steinberger takes ball one to even his count at one. As he comes to the batter's box with his team ahead. The 1-1. One, one. This one's hit well, but this one's going to cheat Val. Out of play on the third base side. One and two. Good fight from the Mount Lions. Taking the extra rope they've been given and taking advantage of it. One, two is left high. Two and two. Steinberger. It's a cheer of encouragement, leaving that one up from his dugout. Two's across the board, the setup pitch, that one just outside, three and two. Looking for a chase with Schoenman, trying to use the extra ball he had in his pocket. Now the count is full, the payoff, again, out of play. Refill the pouch of Mark Moffitt behind the plate. Lots of foul balls have been scattered around. Another 3-2. This one's hit well to left field. This one has a chance, but it's going to go foul instead. Making his way over to the line and left just to make sure is Garrett Nielsen. Heinberger got a hold of that one. He's got a few home runs to his well, his name as well, I should say, as he's got a pair. This one's hit well to center field, slicing away, and it's going to get down and again hop over the fence for a ground rule double. So after the first two batters grounded out in the inning, the Mount Lions have had four straight reach, three of which... Having extra base hits. And another runner in scoring position up three for Caleb Stubbings. No stranger to leaving the park himself. First pitch to Stubbings. He's going to foul back out of play 0-1. Beginning here in the second for UCCS looking to add to it. Showman sets, checks to second for a moment, throws it high. Did that catch Stubbings? I believe it did, and he will go to first base. Looked like it went off the bill of his helmet. Kind of an awkward play. He was kind of shying away, but since it hit the bill of his helmet, it kind of made an awkward noise. But he stands on first. It's first and second. For the cleanup hitter for UCCS, Brad Madison, and a pitching, or probably won't be a pitching change yet as nobody's up in the bullpen for School of Mines, but pitching coach out to the mound.
Just to recap the inning, first two hitters for the Mount Lions, Latchman and Brackle both grounding out. Hodges, a walk, Hella a ground rule double. Three run home run for Iverson, a ground rule double for Steinberger and a hit by pitch for Stubbings. First and second, this one's hit well to center. This one's gonna go as well. Two three-run home runs in the inning for the Mount Lions, and all of a sudden they have a six-run lead. And that's gonna get action going in the bullpen for the visitors. Big home run of the year for Brad Madison. All of a sudden, the Mount Lions with a huge cushion. Casey Campbell is the only Mount Lion that is yet to bat. Brady Latchman, who led things off, waits on deck, and Casey Campbell throws one into center field for a base hit. Latchman let off the inning, trying to bunt for a hit. Shoneman throw, threw him out at first for the first out of the inning. Latchman wants to avoid making two outs in the same inning, which no hitter ever wants to do. 0-1. This pitch to him is fouled out of play, 0-2. All nine Mountain Lions seeing the batter's box here in the second. Six of them coming around to score. This one fisted, but it's going to hang up for Caden Bonds at second base to end the inning. But the Mountain Lions with significant damage done, lead it by six, headed to the third. Jason Andrews takes ball one low from Cole Phillip. As the Mount Lions pitcher comes back to the mound with quite a bit of run support. As his team is up six runs, one and one at the plate. On Mason Andrews. The Mount Lions, after being swept Two weekends ago, up in Grand Junction by number five, Colorado Mesa, was able to take three wins out of Alamosa from Adams State this past weekend. Continue to play good baseball here to start the weekend. Two and two on Andrews. The 
2-2 pitch. This one's hit well to left field, but should be playable for Iverson. Instead, he looks up, and this one's going to fly. The wind is blowing out that direction. As on the first home run for UCCS, it looked like it was going to be playable off the bat of Iverson. But this time, it's Iverson that's watching it fly over. And Mason Andrews getting a run back for Colorado School of Mines. The name of the game now for the ore diggers is chipping away and a good start to that as the first batter after the big inning hits it out and a single to center field is going to put Nielsen on. So a solo shot and a single to start off the inning. It's going to bring up Hotailing. For Andrews, that was his sixth big fly of the 2023 spring. The check over to first base, back safely to the bag is Garrett Nielsen. This pitch, this one's inside outed to right field, or excuse me, left field. That one's going to bounce and go to the corner. A fair ball waved around is it Nielsen. He will score. And two runs back just like that for School of Mines as a single and a double manufactures another run for the Ore Diggers. Six to two. McDermott comes up after the RBI double. Still nobody out in the inning. First pitch to McDermott's going to just miss outside. <laughs> that one catches the bottom of the zone, one and one. series to end the year almost always falls between UCCS and Colorado School of Mind is getting plunked in jogging to first is McDermott he looks no worse for wear as it caught the outside of his right leg but always compelling games between these two teams when one looks like they've got it wrapped up, the other doesn't seem to go away, and the War Diggers doing that right now, trying to work back into this one. First pitch, check swing, they'll check to first base. No, he did not go, so ball one to Luke Folsom. Folsom, a little bit of a two-way player for Colorado School of Mines. You also see him on the mound every so often. That one's just outside, 2-0. Folsom, his first time up, was able to work the count full and walk. It's stranded at third in the second inning. He's up 2-0 now, 3-0. Cole Phillip. Has handed out quite a few freebies in this game, and he does another one here. This one's also going to get away from Steinberger, but doesn't really matter as going to first with the walk was Folsom already, so really he just had to get there fast enough so that hoteling couldn't come all the way around from second base to score. But base is loaded. Nobody out here for Colorado School of Mines. Action in the bullpen for the Mount Lions. Fifth walk given out. 
That one's just over the mountain lines. Dugout out of play. Strike one on Caden Bonds. Second straight inning, the Mount Lions have faced a bases loaded situation as that one's tipped foul 0 and 2. The 0 2 pitch, that one just outside. Looking for the chasers, Phillip. Ready for the bait was Bonds as he doesn't take it. One and two, nobody out. Bases loaded for Mines. This one's hit a ton. Going back, left center field. This one's gonna get down just in front of the wall and again bounce over. So two runs will score again. And it bites the offense on the ground rule double, having to hold up at third is Luke Folsom. He would have easily scored if it stayed in the park. And it's six to four. Still nobody out in the inning for the Mount Lions. Strike one delivered to shoot. Philip gets his sign, comes set. The 0-1 pitch. That one's way in the dirt. Good block behind the plate from Steinberger to keep it in front, one and one. After the big six run inning, the first four mount, or excuse me, ore diggers that come to the plate the third inning all come around to score. Just like that, the tying run is at the plate in Ely's shoe, and it's two and one. Two one pitch. This one's hit a ton foul. To the parking lot area, two and two. Two two pitch. This one lined over the head of Stubbings. This is going to get both runs home and tie up the game. All the sudden, back from the dead is Colorado School of Mines. Still nobody out in the go-ahead run in scoring position. It's six to six. As this one's on the ground, past a diving Hodges. Up with it quickly and throwing it back in to keep Shoe at third. First and third, nobody out. Brings up Vermeer. Or excuse me, brings up Woolwine. That's going to be the end of the day for Phillip. Out from the dugout, Dave Hadjik. There's nobody out here in the third inning of play after a 6-0 lead put up by the Mount Lions in the second inning. Phillip can't handle the offense of the Ore Diggers. All of a sudden, we're tied. Dave Hadjik is going to take as much time as he's allotted and then point out to the, the bullpen. That will be it for Cole Phillip. We'll take a step aside as we have a pitching change here. In the top of the third inning tied at six.
Will Gabriel will tow the rubber for the Mountain Lions out of the pen. I'll give you the final line on Cole Phillip, but the two runners on base are his responsibility, so we'll have to see what happens with them. This one's hit high in the air to right field, playable. Tagging from third. The throw's going to go through, but it's up the line. And a one-run lead for the Ore Diggers as they're up 7-6. Staying put at first base is Ryan Vermeer on the sack fly from Woolwine. Check over to first base, back safely is Vermeer. Little bit of a glitch going up as the scoreboard went blank for just a moment as that one's in there for strike one. Everybody's kind of looking at each other just for a moment in the press box over in the scoring area. 0-1 on Mason Andrews. Let off the inning with a solo shot to left field. Base is an 0-2 count here. Or excuse me, one and one. Wind still blowing out to left field. The one-one pitch is going to be poked in to right center field. Quickly to the baseball is Casey Campbell, and just moving up a base is Vermeer. The one-out single. Puts two runners on for Garrett Nielsen. Your diggers showing a great deal of resilience. Clawing their way back into this one. Seven runs in the third gives them the lead. That one in there for strike one. Nielsen. Already has a single in the inning and a run scored. Gabriel gets his sign, comes set. Yo one on the ground, off the umpire, and that's going to get in. They're going to kill the play. As the umpire is down in the infield. Would have been a pretty easy shot at a double play for UCCS if it hadn't hit the umpire. I think that's why they're going to call time and put runners on second and third. And both trainers are going to come out and check on the official. Umpires today, Mark Moffitt behind the plate. Michael Wagner's at first. The third base umpire who got hit is Teddy Dutcher, or Dutcher, excuse me, easy for me to say. As Dutcher back to his feet, it's like he's going to stay out there, but never a good feeling when you take one off the shin. Look at the replay here. This one, just a hot shot right off the inside of that left leg. You also get a look at the double play from earlier today. The base is loaded now, one out. That one's left high. Ball one. So tailing back at the plate. Strike in there, one and one. It is a single for Nielsen. Up to third is Vermeer. At second is Mason Andrews. One, one. Swung on and missed. Chase pitch. Gets the swing. One and two now.
This one knocked into center field. This is going to get two runs home. They're actually going to give a stop sign as quickly to the baseball was Aaron Brackle. So held up at third base is Mason Andrews in to score is Ryan Vermeer. An 8-6 to six advantage now for Colorado School of Mines. Second RBI of the game for Hotailing. He had an RBI double in his first at bat of the third. That one just going to miss outside, 1-0. McDermott was hit by a 1-1 pitch. First at bat of this inning. That one's in the dirt, 2 and 0. 2-0. Bases still full of ore diggers. That one's high, 3 0. Oh. No walks yet for Gabriel after quite a few handed out to start the game from Cole Phillip. Gabriel looks in to get his sign. 3 0 pitch. That one. Just below the knees, ball four, and a run comes home. Brings up Luke Folsom. Folsom walked his first time. Up this inning. Didn't see a strike in that at bat as he chases this one out of the zone for 0 and 1. Came around to score as well, did Folsom. Mount Lions with just one out. It was a sack fly from Jackson Woolwine. They're going to send the runner from third and I believe he's out. He is at the plate as Gabriel was able to get to the plate to cover. But moving up on the base pass is both Hotailing and McDermott. So two outs, runners on second and third. One and one at the plate on Folsom. Good heads up baseball from... Will Gabriel able to cover on the wild pitch? Timeout called. One and one, the count will stay. Gabriel set the pitch right back up the middle. Able to move his head out of the way was Will Gabriel. They're going to cut this one off in the infield with Stubbings. Both runners come home to score in 11 runs in the inning. Have the ore diggers up five. Two RBI single for Luke Folsom. Some outlines trying to avoid more damage. Ball one delivered to Caden Bonds. With the exception of Jackson Woolwine, who hit a sack fly out to Casey Campbell. Every single ore digger in the offensive lineup has scored a run in this inning. Three of them have scored twice. A 1 1 pitch. That one's outside. 2 and 1.
Runner goes. This one's hit into right field, and this should end the inning for UCCS. Coming on and making the catch is Casey Campbell, but all kinds of offense from the Ore Diggers putting 11 runs up, and they lead it by five. The mountain lion can travel up to 370 miles. Located primarily in North America, these majestic creatures can traverse a large variety of terrain. There are, of course, some natural barriers. UCCS, find your inner mountain lion. So after the Mount Lions put up six runs on five hits and batted around in the second inning, the ore digger said, whatever you can do, I can do better. Put up 11 runs on 10 hits in the third inning. Strike one on uh, the bun attempt for Brackle to open his at bat. As it's a five run advantage for the visitors Mount Lions trying to work their way back into this one. Strike two on Brackle. This giving new life on the mound for Showman as this one on the ground, a shortstop, safe at first base. Brackle beats the throw. The chopper. They had to play it back. And Aaron Brackle is able to beat the throw from Shu for an infield single to lead it off. First pitch is outside to Vander Hodges. He walked. Trying to get things started for the Mount Lions in the second. He came up with two outs. Able to work the count full, walk. Hella behind him, ground rule doubled. Three run jack from Iverson, a ground rule double and a walk for Steinberger and Stubbings as this one's through for a base hit. Back to back singles now. Have the Mount Lions right back in business. The bottom of the lineup starting the engine. Thus far in this game for UCCS offensively. Ronan Hella. Smoked one to center for a ground rule double his first time up. Came around to score a run. One was a nice block behind the plate by Vermeer to even get to that baseball, let alone secure it. One ball and no strikes. Mount Lions freshman shortstop. Pitch, this one's high in the air. This one might come down on the top of our box. And it doesn't. It was way up there though, so you gotta, we had to wait a little bit to make sure that it didn't actually come down on us. Hopefully everybody in our production truck behind us is no worse for wear. 1-1, one, one. this one poked into left field over a jumping shoe way out in front of that one was Ronan Hella, but gets the barrel on it and gets a single to load the bases for Hayden Iverson.
Still nobody out in the inning. First pitch to Iverson. Just misses outside, ball one. Again, action getting started in the bullpen for Colorado School of Mines. It's the bottom of the third inning. The Mount Lions look. Try and take control of this game back. Down five runs. Vermeer had to take a moment to tie his cleat. Got his equipment all settled. We're back to baseball. The 1-0 pitch. It's Iverson. That one was a heavy heater that caught kind of that left peck area of Hayden Iverson. Kind of rubbing, tapping underneath his left arm there at first base. Evan Steinberger. The one run in on the hit by pitch as Brackle comes home. Did a five, or excuse me, a four run game and the tying run now potentially at the plate. For UCCS, ball one to Steinberger. Hit a ground rule double his last time up as part of the big six run push. That one's outside as well, two and oh. Pieces full of Mountain Lions. Hodges at third base, Hella at second. Iverson, who just got plunked at first. 2 0 at the plate. Pitch to Steinberger again outside, 3 0. Have to imagine if Steinberger goes to first on a walk that that's going to be the end of the day for Schoenman. He kind of was on the ropes already after the six run second. That one's in there. Taking the whole way, Steinberger. A kind of a get me over fastball on the outside corner makes it three and one. Crazy game already, 11 to seven. This one's hit well to center field. Going back, Woolwine, grand slam, tie game at 11. And that's going to be it for Ben Schoenman. As these two teams trading blows through the first three innings. 11 runs in the top half of the inning for the Ore Diggers. Five runs to pull even from the Mount Lines in the bottom half. We have a pitching change. We'll step away.
Nicholas Spidell comes on for Ben Schoenman. Spidell, 6.23 earned run average. No decisions on his season. Just his seventh appearance and comes in with the bases empty, but a tough spot with the Mount Lions with a bunch of momentum. Having scored five, 11 runs apiece. We're only in the bottom of the third inning here. One and two on Caleb Stubbings. That one swung on, foul tips held behind the plate. So out number one here in the third is Caleb Stubbings. Brad Madison, who had a three-run home run his first time up, gave the Mount Lions a 6 to nothing lead at the time. Seems like ages ago was just last inning. That one's in there for strike one, and Spidell is pounding the zone early. One and one. This baseball game been all over the place so far, but great one to watch, especially if you like offense. Two and one on Madison. First five batters up in the third all come around to score for UCCS. That one's in there for strike two, two and two on Brad Madison. This is baseball inside the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. As this one's on the ground, Bonds, nice move to his left, comes up with it and throws out Madison for out number two and Spidell. Off to a good start here, trying to quiet the loud offense of UCCS. That one catches the corner for strike one. Good opening fastball to Casey Campbell. Campbell singled in the second, was stranded at first. He's behind 0-2 here, his third time to the plate. Batted in every inning for the Mountain Lions. That one just misses outside, one and two. One's inside, two and two. Who's across the board? Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Fouled back. We'll do it again. Mount Lions, 11 runs on nine hits. Colorado School of Mines, 11 runs on 10 hits. The 2-2 two -two to Campbell, again, fouled back to the screen. The 2-2. Two -two. This one's hit pretty well to left field. That one's off the fence and takes an awkward bounce away from Nielsen on his horse and holding up. Campbell would have easily been at third as that one was nowhere near the third base bag, but a two-out double as a nice recovery to get back to the ball quickly from Garrett Nielsen. It took a hop off one of the metal stanchions in the fence and kicked away from Nielsen as just missing another home run in this game was Casey Campbell trying to give the Mount Lions the lead back. Brings up Brady Latchman. That one below the knees for ball one. Right 
second inning in a row that all nine mountain lions have come to bat. That one's in there, one and one. That one's low as well, two and one. Good patience at the plate from Latchman. The only Mount Lion that has not reached base this game. The ground out and a pop out, both for outs in the second inning. Two one, this one's on the ground a second. Having to retreat his bonds, he'll make a nice play. Latchman still can't find his way on base. He is out number three here in the third inning, but the Mount Lions back. 11 runs apiece in this one. We're headed to the fourth inning. Ely Shu leading things off here in the fourth inning. Will Gabriel still on the mound for the Mountain Lions? That one going fishing as Shu comes up empty. 0 and 1. Next pitch, Chu wanted that one, but never fired. Called a strike 0-2. Quickly behind is the shortstop for the visitors. This one's knocked into right field though for a leadoff base hit. Campbell will play it on a knee and throw it back in. Just like the Mount Lions this past inning, the ore diggers picking right off where they left off. Ryan Vermeer. Nine, one, and two, or excuse me, eight, nine, and one do up in the inning and a wild throw from Gabriel. That's gonna be an error on the Mount Lions pitcher. Allows Vermeer to safely reach first base. Second error of the game for UCCS. That brings up Woolwine. First pitch to the Mount, or excuse me, the Four Diggers lead off man. Outside, ball one. Like he was going to square around a bunt for just a moment. Lineup card coming out of the back pocket of Woolwine. Gets the timeout call. Gabriel looks in to get his sign. Comes set. The 1-0 pitch. Good bunt. This one is going to roll foul. One and one. 
Tries the bunt again with one strike. Julie, in this situation, you will see batters try it until they get to the two strike mark and then they'll swing away. Don't want to bunt one foul for an out. First and second, nobody out. 11 runs apiece. They're going to check over to second. Still one and one. No actual throw over towards Ely Shue at second base as no one was there to cover the bag. Ella is starting to cheat a little bit more that direction. The 1-1 one, one to the plate. That one's called a strike one and two. Wind Gus once again picking up. Runners go. This one's popped. Could be trouble and falls. The ore diggers had to make sure it got down. So Chu and Vermeer only move up a base. But again, base is loaded. Nobody out. Mason Andrews, two for two with a walk, a solo shot, and a single, as well as two runs scored for the Ore Diggers. That one's in there for strike one at the knees. This baseball game is a gift that keeps on giving. Bases loaded, nobody out. The Ore Diggers in the top of the fourth, 11 runs each. For these teams as that one's fouled back to the screen 0 and 2. Gabriel comes set. Big pitch up coming the 0-2. This one's hit high. Left field back Iverson. Over the wall, Grand Slam. And it's 15 to 11. A grand slam for Brad Madison in the bottom of the third. Tied the game for UCCS. A grand slam for Mason Andrews, his second big fly of the game. Gives the four-run lead back to Colorado School of Mines. Still no outs in the inning. The 1-0 pitch is high on Nielsen, 1-1. One This one's hit a ton, but foul. One and two. The one two pitch swung on and missed. Strike three. Good response. From Will Gabriel after the grand slam. But just the first out in the inning. Brings up Adam Hotailing. Nobody on, one out. Four runs in. Pulling his head back, but really that was not very far away to being a strike as Hotailing. It grabs the plate. A 1 0. That one's nice bender. Catches the outside corner, 1 and 1. Good movement on that one from Will Gabriel.
Again, another breaking ball this time. Hotelling catches up to it. Out to left center. It's going to be Iverson nearly coming together. There was Iverson and Brackle, but Iverson makes the play for out number two. There is action in the bullpen for the Mount Lions. There's some bodies in the pen for Colorado School of Mines, but no throwing happening. Visitors bullpen on the left side. That one's at the knees for strike one, opening the at-bat to McDermott. McDermott, a hit-by-pitch and a four-pitch walk. 0 for 1, as hit the first time he came up, he rolled over to Latchman at second. The 0 1 to him. It's through Steinberger outside 1 and 1. Next pitch to McDermott. That one's low 2 and 1. for the curveball, couldn't get it to drop in. Three and one, McDermott works ahead. The three one, inside. Again, kind of crowding that plate out of the left-hander's batter's box, McDermott it turned out of the way like it was going to hit him, but wasn't really that far away from being a strike. Either way, he goes to first. Two out walk. It's the base runner on for Luke Folsom. Two RBI single his last time up was stranded at first base to end the third after the 11 run inning. School of Mines. Four run innings still here in the fourth. That one outside, 2-0. Oh. Check over to first, back safely, McDermott. Really that aggressive of a league, he just Kind of shuffles his way back to the mound. Two zero. -oh. That one's in there. Strike one. Go forth. Two one. That one's high. Three one. Check to first again, McDermott back. The three one. High and away, ball four. Back to back walks with two outs. Runner in scoring position now as Caden Bonds takes his turn. I think that'll be the end of the day as Hadrick out from the dugout to grab Will Gabriel. Going to take the ball right away this time and we will step aside. Another pitching change for the Mount Lions. They find themselves down once again, this time 15 to 11. The top of the fourth.
Jaden Bonds will be the first to face John Soto. Comes in with a 7.56 ERA, two and two in decisions. That one's way outside, heavy heater. Soto's 15th appearance. He has made two starts among those appearances. He tries to stop the slide here. As this one's up the middle, playable and able to recover. Latchman gets the out at second base and ends the inning. But four more runs for the Ore Diggers. It's 15 to 11. We're halfway through this one. Back here, start the bottom half of the fourth inning. This one's hit a ton. The outfielders won't even move. A no doubter from Aaron Brackle gets a run immediately back for the Mountain Lions. It's 15 to 12, and the offensive rampage of this game continues. Vander Hodges takes strike one. As both of the starters in this game only going two innings, Phillip and Shoneman, Shoneman a little bit worse for wear as he gave up 11 runs. He also had a little bit more support later so he could stay in it a little bit longer, but One misses, one and two now on Hodges. Not a whole lot of pitching out of either team as the bats have been the story. One, two, this one's hit into left field. This is going to hang up, though, and Nielsen will make the grab on Hodges for out number one. Ronan Hella, a ground rule double and a single. This is two for two. Two runs scored as well for the Mountain Lions. Should have an RBI, but because of the ground rule double, Vander Hodges, who was in front of him when he hit that ground rule double, had to stop at third. No RBIs yet for Hella. See if he can get some here. That one, did he go? No, he did not. I had to bunt, pulled it back in time, one and one. This one fought off, but hangs up, and McDermott grabs it at third base for out number two. Now batting, the shortstop, number 
Hayden Iverson, two runs scored, is one for one, a walk, a hit by pitch, and a home run. As this one's lined hard into center field for a base hit, a two out base runner for the Mount Lions on the first pitch. Brings up Steinberger. Steinberger, a grand slam his last time up. Take strike one. I'm going to think of it. I actually think I said that Brad Madison was the one that hit the grand slam last inning, but it was Steinberger that captured the most efficient type of offense you can in the game. One and one. Runner on first is Hayden Iverson with two outs. One run in. 15 to 12 the score. That one's fouled into the screen, one and two. Good response after that leadoff solo shot from Brackle though from Nicholas Spidell on the mound. By the standards of this game, he's been very good so far. This one's hit high in the air towards left field. Sliding over to make the grab and end the inning is Nielsen. The Mount Lions do get a run back, but the Ore Diggers able to hold the lead for the first time in this game for either team. It's 15 to 12. We're headed to the fifth. UCCS gives me the freedom I need. The flexible courses and an inspiring campus. UCCS fuels success. Apply today at uccs.edu. Ely Shu leading things off for the Ore Diggers to start the fifth inning as they bring with them a three run lead. 15 to 12. We are playing nine here in game one. We'll have a seven inning game in game two at the conclusion of this first matchup. That one's. Inside, looks like it caught the hand of Mark Moffat behind the plate as the umpires are getting shelled here today. Moffat is in a great deal of discomfort. Steve Hadjik, the Mount Lions athletic trainer out. Digger's trainer also going to make his way over. Off it. Had his hand out at his side. Got clipped by that foul ball. Adam. 
Well, we have a moment. We will share that Mason Pastorello has made his way into the game defensively for the Mount Lions. He is at second base, replacing Brady Latchman. As we take a look at some of the canine friends we have around today. One to have an itchy nose. They continue to tend to Mark Moffitt. It's a three-run game here in the top of the fifth. Nobody out. We'll take a short step aside. Plate umpire Mark Moffat looking like he's going to stay in the game as never feels good when you get hit by a baseball at all, but the finger off the bat is probably one of the worst options. One and one on Ely Shoe. That one spiked in the dirt from John Soto on the restart. Two and one. bit of cloud cover making its way overhead. This one's pulled foul down the third base side, two and two. The shoe, a single, a two RBI double, a walk, two for two on his day with a pair of runs scored himself. Not a whole lot of players in this game that haven't scored a run. Three and two as that one's inside on the setup pitch. Soto comes set. The payoff to Shu. Swung on and missed. Caught him reaching to John Soto, and that is out number one here in the fifth inning. First time Shu has been set down today. Nice curveball for strike one on Vermeer. Big looper locked up the catcher for the ore diggers. 0-1. Otto deals again. This one bounced foul 0-2. John Soto. To a good start here in the fifth. But I don't want to speak too soon because offense been everywhere today. One's outside, one and two. Another offering from Soto, another good breaking ball. Swung on and missed, it gets past Steinberger. They do record the out at first, nice throw. And a good stretch as well from Stubbings to get to that baseball. Two up, two down here in the Mount Lions defensive half of the fifth inning. First pitch in there for strike one on Woolwine. Back up two. Top of the lineup, the fifth inning and the fifth trip through the lineup for the Ore Diggers. Swinging through that one in the dirt, 0-2 on Woolwine. Soto set. 
Two outs, nobody on. The 0-2 inside and high on Woolwine. The one-two pitch. Nice hanging curveball. Kind of served up there from Soto, but way out in front of it. The off speed is Woolwine. We'll do it again at one and two. Soto tries to get the first clean inning of the game. The one-two pitch. Just misses outside. Another good curveball, two and two. Set up pitch, lined, base hit, right field on a hop. Campbell will play it and throw it back in. We still wait to find our first one, two, three inning of the game. The two out single for Woolwine brings up Andrews. Andrews, been the main source of offense. Five runs. Andrew has been responsi responsible for, easy for me to say, a solo shot in the third inning, a grand slam in the fourth. Also has a single and a walk. 1-0. This one's lifted high in the air to left field. Again going back. Iverson watches it fly again. Third home run of the game for Mason Andrews and another five run lead for the Ore Diggers. It's 17 to 12. Ball one delivered to Nielsen to start his at bat. Six RBIs in this game for Mason Andrews. Four runs scored. This one's fouled back one and one. Excuse me, it's actually seven RBIs for Mason Andrews. That one's low and away. Two and one. Three and one. That one's outside and ball four sends Nielsen to first base. Just when it looked like the Mount Lions may have an opportunity to get through an inning cleanly. Two out base hit from Woolwine and a two run shot from Andrews. It's followed up by another walk and hotailing. Takes strike one. You know, one pitch on the ground through the right side. Another base hit. Up to second base is Nielsen. First and second with two outs now for Danny McDermott. First pitch to McDermott, catches the outside corner for strike one. The 
This one's out of play, 0-2. Soto tries to work his way out. Buddy up in the pen for UCCS as they're already on their third pitcher of the game. 17 to 12 our score. Yo two on the ground. Up with it, Hella. He's going to go to third. Hodges records the final out of the inning. Two more runs on the board as a two run shot from Mason Andrews brings us to 17 to 12. We're headed to the bottom of five. Lots of offense in this one. Caleb Stubbings lead off the inning for UCCS in their half of the fifth inning for UCCS. It will be three, four, and five. You up in the lineup. They trail five runs, 17 to 12 our score. Wells, his first pitch out of play. For strike one. This one again swung through 0 and 2 on stubbing. Caleb grounded into a fielder's choice his first time up, walked and came around to score in the second, then struck out swinging in the third. He's 0 for 2 officially. This one's on the ground. Chu make the play at shortstop for out number one. Brings up Brad Madison. A three-run shot for Madison in the second inning. Has walked and grounded out otherwise. It's his total to one for two with three RBIs and a run scored. Batters still come up again in this game as we're only in the fifth inning. Strike one on the curveball. One's left high, one and one. One, one pitch inside, not handled behind the plate by Vermeer, doesn't matter. Two and one. Two one pitch bounced into the fence in front of the ore diggers dugout. A couple of red shirts racing to go get the ball down the line. They looked like Rodney Gregg was the one that won the race. Get to that baseball. The two two pitch at the plate is outside three and two. Tough pitch to lay off on if you're Madison, but Brad has been very good about knowing where the edges of the strike zone lie this season. 3-2 pitch. Bounced. High chopper to shortstop again. Charging shoe. Just gets the out at first base. Threw it over on a hop. Hotailing had to dig it out. But it beats... 
Brad Madison, two up and two down here. The fifth inning brings up Casey Campbell. Both put outs. Been by Ely Shu at short. First pitch swinging. Casey Campbell 0 and 1. That one's out, or excuse me, inside, one and one. Left-handed Campbell. This one's fouled back, one and two. Vidal set, the one-two pitch. Right on the ground, right at Ely Shu, but it bounces off his chest and able to beat out the throw is Casey Campbell. We'll see if Shu gets an error on that one or not. They are going to give him a single, so an infield two out single for Casey Campbell. That will bring up Mason Pastorello for the first time as he subbed in defensively. For Brady Latchman last inning. This one again on the ground to shoot. This time he's up for the task. Will take it himself. And that is out number three. Couple mount lines reach, but no one comes around. It's still 17 to 12. We're headed to the sixth. Back here at Mount Lion Park, they actually changed that hit on Casey Campbell to an error. So now one error for the ore diggers as swinging through strike one at the plate is Luke Folsom. Mount Lions leave one aboard. That's the first inning since the first inning that the Mount Lions have not scored a run. John Soto still on the mound, 0-2 on Luke Folsom. Pitch here, hits him. After working out ahead 0-2, John Soto hits Luke Folsom, sending him to first base. Brings up Caden Bonds. Pitch to Bonds, high and inside. As struggling to find his command here. The sixth inning is John Soto. That one's inside as well. 2-0. and oh. Ties well, 
That one's in there, three and one. Mount Lions and Ore Diggers. All kinds of offense in this one. We're tied at 11 after three. Four more for the Ore Diggers. In the fourth, have given them the lead. The Mount Lions have been playing chase ever since. Looks like we're going to have a mound visit here as also getting ready in the bullpen is Ryder Mancuso. <laughs> See if Mancuso begins to make his way into this game anytime soon. First and second. Bonds at first. Folsom at second. Walk for Bonds and a hit by pitch for Folsom. Dealey Shoe. It's for the mound visit to conclude to take his at bat. Bun attempt, did he offer at it? Looks like they're gonna go with no. The ball won. On Ely Shoe, that one again was a good deal inside. This one's fouled back to the screen, one and one. Seventeen to twelve in favor of Colorado School of Mines. Eleven in the third, four in the fourth, two in the fifth. That one's high. Kind of a pitch out though, and they get the lead runner trying to steal third. As thrown out on the base pass is Luke Folsom. Not stealing is out number one. Not sure if that was on purpose, but it kind of worked as a pitch out for Steinberger behind the dish. That one's inside. Three and one. Soto set. Three one. Inside again. Ball four. And Cuso continues to warm. We'll see if they go to him. They're back to back to back walks. First one was a hit by pitch, but worked out the same. We'll let Soto face Vermeer. First pitch to the catcher, way outside. About moving up for a moment was Bonds, but he'll. Make his way back to second base as we'll get a glove on it with Steinberger, and that is going to do it for Soto as Hadrick's going to point to the bullpen. When we come back, Ryder Mancuso will take his turn. We'll step aside as another pitching change for the Mount Lions, this time in the top of the sixth inning.
Ryder Mancuso comes on for UCCS, replacing John Soto. Soto only goes an inning and two-thirds. Second mountain line pitcher today, as Will Gabriel also only goes an inning and two-thirds. Soto gives up three hits, walks three. Two punch outs and 11 batters faced. As it stands right now, he's given up two runs, which are both earned, but the runners on base are his responsibility, so that may change or his day is officially done in the book. Two and one at the plate as Vermeer continues his at-bat, took a ball from John Soto to start the at-bat before getting yanked. The 2-1 pitch goes off the shoulder of Steinberger and moving up on the base pass is both Bonds and Chu, both into scoring position. Now Bonds at third, Shue at second. Three and one at the plate, Ryan Vermeer. Three one, inside ball four. Lots of free bags getting handed out today by UCCS pitching. as there's been 12 walks by the Mount Lions, just three from Ordigger's pitching staff. First pitch of the at-bat to Woolwine, catches the corner for strike one. This one's fouled 0 and 2. That one straight up the middle, nearly gloved by Mancuso, but gets through for a single into score is both Bonds and Chu, making it a seven-run advantage now for the Ore Diggers, and it's 19-12 to 12 after the two-RBI single from Woolwine. Now the dangerous Mason Andrews got a grand slam, a pair of solo home runs. First and second on the base pass for him as he takes strike one. That one's left high, one and one. A walk for Andrews in the first inning. A single for Andrews in the third inning. The other three at-bats have left the yard. 1-1 one, one pitch to him here. That one's low, 2-1. Two and one. Two one pitch. That one into the screen, two and two. Two two pitch. Hit well, but foul down the first base side into the Mount Lions bullpen area. Two-two pitch. That one's inside. Gets away. Both runners will move up. The count is full. Three and two now. 
It's go. one out the inning. Vermeer at third. Bullwine at second. Swung on and missed. Strike three. First strikeout for Mancuso. As Andrews is the second out of the inning. The first time that Andrews has been set down at the plate. Second and third, two outs. The situation for Garrett Nielsen. Walked his last time up and was stranded to second base. Nice curveball to get strike one. And Cuso, his breaking ball working early. One one. One one pitch misses low. Two and one. This one's a high chopper to shortstop. Hell is up with it. He'll come across. And able to get the out, but stepping on the back of Stubbings' shoe is Nielsen. He's down behind the bag. Stubbings collapsing as well, but looks like they're both going to get back up to their feet and be able to walk it off. We'll step aside for the inning break. Aaron Brackle leading things off. He led things off for the Mount Lions in the fourth inning, his last time up with a no-doubter solo shot. Left center field takes for strike one outside, on the outside part of the plate, I should say. 0-1. Oh, eight, or seven, eight, and nine for the Mount Lions due up in the inning, and Aaron Brackle staying hot. Puts this one through to center field for a leadoff base hit. Vander Hodges. Couple of runs scored, a walk, a single, and a fly out. 
One for two officially as this one bounced through the left side for a base hit. Back-to-back -back singles to start the inning for the Mountain Lions, and they're in business for Ronan Hella. Two on, nobody out. Ella hits this one down for a base hit into left field. Getting sent and around to score is Aaron Brackle. So the Mount Lions get a run back. It is 19 to 13. They cut the lead down to six. And it's first and second. Nobody out for Hayden Iverson. Pass the baton. First RBI of the day for Hella. Mentioned he probably should have had one earlier, but ground rule double made Vander Hodges have to hold up in front of him. Ball one delivered low to Hayden Iverson. Mount Lions lineup card flipped back over. This one's inside as well, 2-0. and That one they say caught Iverson. Was kind of close to his arm. Wasn't sure if it caught him or not. But a hit by pitch. Loads the bases. That's going to trigger a mound visit from the pitching coach of the Ore Diggers. Recap of the inning, Aaron Brackle leads off with the single, followed up by Evander Hodges' single. Ronan Hella himself knocks in Brackle with an RBI single. Hodges up to second on that play, and then the hit-by-pitch moves. Hodges to third, Hella to second. Is Iverson on first, and at the plate, Evan Steinberger. Takes an outside strike. Weinberger, no stranger, doing damage. Packs a lot of power in that bat when he wants to. One and one. One one pitch. That one catches the corner as well. One and two. Steinberger, who catches behind the plate, doesn't quite agree with the call. Knows where that strike zone is. One two. That one. Pretty much the same pitch. Call the ball this time around. Two and two. Fidel set a 2 2 fouled out of play, and we'll do it again. Overcast now in Colorado Springs. Threatening looking clouds, but we haven't seen any precipitation yet as this one's fought off, could get into the gap, and will roll to the wall. Around a score is all three runs for the Mount Lions and into second base with a three RBI double as trying to dive in to tag him out was Caden Bonds. No luck there. A three RBI double brings the Mount Lions within three. Still nobody out in the inning and Caleb Stubbings will take a turn.
First pitch to Stubbings misses for ball one. One oh, this one's hit well into center field. This may stay up. It will, tagging from second and moving to third is Steinberger. So a productive out, moving the runner up, especially with nobody out in the inning for Caleb Stubbings. Brings up bat, Brad Madison, excuse me, with another run 90 feet away for the Mount Lions. Madison with a three-run home run back in the second inning. First, it seems that Spidell has reached the end of the line. So Nicholas Spidell will make his way out. We will step aside as we have a pitching change for the ore diggers in the bottom of the sixth inning. Mount Lions trail by three. Jackson Bakovich into the game. Also, just like Spidell, comes in with a 6-2-3 RA. That's headed north, though. A no-doubter from Madison. And the Mountain Lions are within a run. That'll bring up Casey Campbell as the tying run. And not the start that Bakovich wanted by any stretch of the imagination as this one's hit high in the air and Casey Campbell just missed this. Right, or excuse me, left center field still made its way way out there as Garrett Nielsen making the catch as Casey Campbell was almost to second base already. That's how high in the air that one went. That's out number two. Mason Pastorello grounded into a fielder's choice his first time up after entering the game in place of Brady Latchman at second base. Squares the bunt, pulls it back, and gets out of the way as that one was inside. The Mount Lions bat around once again, this time in the sixth inning. Third time today the Mount Lions have batted around as that one swung through one and one. Close the book here on you in just a moment as Spidell's book is closed. That one's bunted foul. Passarello kind of hits his bat. For Spidell, he goes three and a third. In the hits department, he gives up seven, six runs all earned, no walks and a strikeout. He faced 19 mountain lines as that one bounces on the plate for ball two. Oh, 
Jackson Bakovich, we mentioned, came in with a 6.23 ERA with the leadoff home run. That's going to change. No decisions on his year. 11 appearances. This will be his 12th. Two and two on Pastorello with two outs. Swung on and missed. Strike three ends the inning, but the Mount Lions with a bunch more runs across. Six more gets them within one. 17 hits apiece. We're headed to the seventh. Adam Hotailing leading things off here to start the seventh inning for Colorado School of Mines as they only have a one-run lead all of a sudden as trading blows even still are these two teams. Mount Lions up six at one point. So found themselves down seven. Trading leads in this game are both sides. This one's hit a ton to right field. Casey Campbell's going to watch that one go as Adam Hotailing flips his bat. And a solo shot to start the seventh pushes the lead back to two for Colorado School of Mines. Three RBIs on the day for Adam Hotailing. Brings up Danny McDermott. Looping curveball misses outside for ball one. As this one's crushed to right field as well. Back to back jacks for the Ore Diggers. Six home run of the year for Danny McDermott as Luke Folsom takes ball one. And Ryder Mancuso on the mound, starting to get some resistance from the ore diggers. That one misses low as well, 2-0. Thank you. 
Duo pitch again inside, 3-0. That one's going to catch the zone. Twenty-one to eighteen, our score. That one is going to send Luke Folsom to first base. Mount Lions can't find an out here to start the seventh. Keep an eye on the dugout as there is action up in the bullpen for the Mount Lions. They have a right-hander throwing. Quite see who that is from here. It's a nice bunt put down, but it skips behind the plate. Foul for strike one. Thirty-nine runs in this game. Oh one. Bunted again. This one again foul 0 and 2. And Steinberger kind of let that one do its thing before he tried to make a play on it just to see if it would bounce fair and he could steal an out, maybe two. Goes foul. The 1 2 pitch from Mancuso swung on and missed. Got the low chase. For out number one, Aiden Bonds is the first to head back to the dugout in the seventh. Yuli Shu takes another turn. First pitch to him. He'll knock this one into center field. Aaron Brackle can't make the catch. Up to third and getting a late signal to run. The throw was up the line, though, so Steinberger couldn't make a play on Folsom, and he will score. That's going to be an error on Brackle in center field. So an unearned run for Mancuso. And that will bring up Ryan Vermeer. Excuse me, we're going to get a pinch hitter here. As making his way in is Trent Nielsen. This one's hit into left field for a base hit. They're going to hold the runner at third and a nice throw in from Iverson. Shows that that was a smart decision by the third base coach. Jackson Woolwine back to the mound. But first we'll get a pitching change as Mancuso comes out. So we'll take a step aside. 22 to 18, the seventh inning.
Garrett Shriver will come on for the Mountain Lions as Ryder Vancusa only going two thirds of an inning. And first pitch from Shriver is in there for strike one. Four batters face for Mancuso. As this one's grounded foul on the first base side. This one's going to kick back into the field of play, so we may have to wait a moment as they go get it. 0-2 at the plate. It's Woolwine back up for the ore diggers. One hit, one walk, one strikeout in four batters face for Mancuso. Retrieve the baseball. We're back to action. The 0-2 pitch. This one's fought off into right field for a base hit. In to score is Ely Shu. Up to second is Trent Nielsen. Make it 23 to 18. This one's high in the air to center field. Aaron Brackle over to make the catch for out number two. Staying put on the base pass is both Nielsen and Woolwine. Andrews is set down. Garrett Nielsen, the only ore digger not to hit in the inning, comes to bat. This is the third time for the ore diggers that they have batted around. Three times for both teams, all batters come to the plate. That one's in there for strike one. This one's on the ground. Pass the glove of Ronan Hella into center field. The run will score. So a two out base hit RBI single for Garrett Nielsen and Hotailing will have another try. First pitch to Hotailing. That one's low for ball one. Two and zero here on hotailing. As that one swung through, nice high heater from Garrett Shriver gets a chase. It's two and one. The playing chicken over at second base is Woolwine and Ronan Hella. We'll check on Woolwine and go to the plate. The 2-1 on the ground. That's going to go foul down the first base side. 2-2. Two and two.
Two and two with two outs. Hotailing the batter. The pitch from Shriver. Again, wasted out of play. We'll do it again. Two two pitch rolled over to or excuse me second base. Out will be recorded at first, and that will end the inning. The Mount Lions surrendering more runs as five more put up by Colorado School of Mines. It's twenty four to eighteen as we head to the bottom of the seventh stretch time in Colorado Springs. Brackle leading things off in the bottom of the seventh inning for UCCS. Fouls off, strike one out of play. Book closes on Mancuso. He gives up five runs. Only three of them are earned because of the error from Aaron Brackle. That one inside, one and one. On Brackle himself at the plate, trying to make up for his defensive miscue in center field. Still on the mound is Jordan Bakovic as that one be fouled. And again, the race on down the line in left field. Well, uh, Mines players racing for the ball. <laughs> Looked like it was shut Iraqi that made the play out there, getting to the ball first. That one misses two and two. On the ground is short. Coming across, Shu throws out Brackle for out number one. Vander Hodges, single and a run scored his last time up. He takes strike one. That one nearly stealing a strike behind the plate was Vermeer, or excuse me now, it is Nielsen behind the plate. That one misses, two and one. This one's lifted high, right center field. That one's off the fence. Hodges around first and into second with a stand-up double. It's the Mount Lions started in the bottom of the seventh. Now batting the shortstop, number nine, Ronan Hella. Yeah. 
This one's high, shallow left field coming on and making the catch is Garrett Nielsen. Out number two is Ronan Hella. Aiden Iverson, hit by a pitch, came around to score in the sixth inning. Pitch to him, curveball drops in for strike one. A one pitch. Checks his swing, does not go around one and one. This one's high in the air. Backpedaling his shoe makes the catch. That's not how they teach you to do it, but it doesn't matter how you get it done. That's out number three. And with the 24 to 18 score, we head to the eighth inning. The majestic mountain lion, one of nature's most powerful predators, primarily indigenous to the Americas. This big cat is known to make its home just about anywhere. Although most consider them to be solitary in nature, these big cats actually show advanced social intelligence. This cat is known to be territorial and as such will fiercely defend its territory from other big cats, employing a blend of power and stealth, except during courtship. UCCS, find your inner mountain lion. Danny McDermott leading things off for the ore diggers in the eighth inning. Takes strike one as Shriver is still out there on the mound for UCCS. McDermott, his last time up, sent one over the fence in right field. Back to back home runs between Hotailing and McDermott in. The seventh inning for the Ore Diggers, one and one. This one bounced foul. Working ahead is Shriver. One two's outside. That one misses outside as well. Three and two. Nice at bat put to get together here, I should say, by Danny McDermott. He has reached. Four of his six at-bats. This is his seventh trip to the plate. This one, a high Baltimore chop. Driver takes it himself and tosses it to Stubbings for out one. Now 
number 25, Luke Folsom. Luke Folsom walked, came around to score his last time. Only been actually recorded for an out once this game. That's when he was caught stealing, trying to move up to third in the sixth inning. He's either come around to score or been stranded in all of his at-bats. He also only has one hit. Got four walks and a hit by pitch to match his hit. As this one's high in the air. Casey Campbell coming on from right field, moving well, sliding and making the grab. Nice play out there in shallow right field. Casey Campbell, two outs. Aiden Bond steps in, struck out his last time to the plate. Big strike one here. Broke out on an 0-2 count, but wasn't on three pitches. He did at least two or three strikes before he was set down. Nice diving stop. Hella, can he make the out? Not quite. Caden Bonds would have beat the throw either way as Caleb Stubbings couldn't secure it. So an infield single, a two-out base runner for Colorado School of Mines, and UCCS still searching for their first 1-2-3 inning. Colorado School of Mines hasn't been able to set down the Mount Lions in order in any inning this game either. This one's looped, just foul. Looked like it had a chance to sneak into fair territory, but stays on the right side of the line for UCCS, 0-1. That one misses one and one. Ely Shu at the plate. Only also recorded one out. He was stranded after a walk. As double, a single, a second walk and reached on an error his last time up. That was when Aaron Brackle couldn't handle the pop fly in center field. He swings through that opportunity. So it's one and two on your digger shortstop. One, two, runner goes, fouled back to the screen, so having to return to first base is Caden Bonds. One, two, pitch. Runner stays put this time. Took a couple hard steps, did Caden Bonds, but didn't keep his feet moving. Two and two at the plate on shoe. Only other athletic event happening this weekend for UCCS is a playoff game for the women's lacrosse team. Up, They will take on Grand Junction in Denver as part of the RMAC tournament as Regis University is hosting that this year. Nationally ranked squad. Control of the RMAC during the regular season. All it takes is one loss to get knocked out of that tournament, so we'll see what happens. Three and two, two outs. The pitch hit well to center field. Going back, Aaron Brackle is going to watch this one go over the fence. Again, the wind kind of helping these balls over the fence. As that one finds its way over right next to the batter's eye. A two-run home run makes it 26 to 18.
First pitch strike to Keen Tanaka, who is in to catch. Trent Nielsen pinch hit for Ryan Vermeer last inning, and then Tanaka came in defensively behind the plate. It's one and one on Tanaka. This one's high in the air in foul territory. Maybe playable for Stubbings. He makes a grab over his shoulder. And that ends the inning. Two more runs in for Colorado School of Mines as they lead it by 8, 26 to 18. We go to the bottom of the eight. And four due up in the inning for the Mountain Lions. Evan Steinberger, Caleb Stubbings, and Brad Madison at the very least for the Mountain Lions. But as we've seen in this game, it is more than likely that more batters will see the field in the batter's box for the Mount Lions. 0-1 as that one's fouled off by Evan Steinberger. Bases clearing double his last time up. Brought home three runs in the sixth. A one pitch to him way outside. One and one. That one's in the dirt as well. Two and one. Haven't seen Tyler Richardson yet. He... Usually shares time behind the plate with Steinberger, but especially with the extended game here in game one, I imagine we will see Richardson in the later game. Big swing. Strike two to run the count full on Steinberger as he was trying to put that one over Pulpit Rock. Have somebody... Way up at the top of Pulpit Rock up there. Taking in some baseball. Three and two is that one. It is back to the screen. Swung on and missed. Hell, or they did not hold the foul tip, so they'll record the out at first, but a strikeout to start the inning. For UCCS brings up Stubbings. Grounded into a fielder's choice, but reached in the first. Walked in the second, came around to score. Strikeout, ground out, fly out since then. He still looked for his first hit of the day. 0-1. Curveball misses outside, one and one. That one swung through.
One, two. Wow. That one. Did he check his swing? No, he didn't. Or yes, he did, I should say. Two and two. Three and two now. Another three, two. This one's hit a ton to left field and not even trying to go after it is Garrett Nielsen, a solo shot for Caleb Stubbings who breaks out, and gets a run back for the Mount Lions. It's 26 to 19. Brings up Brad Madison. For Stubbings, it's his ninth big fly of the season. That leads the Mountain Lions as five of those nine came back on April 2nd in a doubleheader against Colorado Christian. As that one's outside as well, 2 and 0 on Madison. That one's in there, two and one. Two and two. The two two pitch, this one. Just missing it is Brad Madison fouling it out of play. Again, fouling it out of play. Two and two will do it again. Again, battling, fouling pitches off Brad Madison. Great up defense for Madison, both in the infield and outfield with nobody on and one out. One run in after the solo shot from Caleb Stubbings. That one's outside and the count is full. Much overcast anywhere you look now as we started with clear blue skies. Ah. Wind's been consistently blowing as strike three called on Brad Madison. He thought he was headed to first base. But he goes down on strikes. The first looking strikeout we've seen today from either team. Casey Campbell with two outs will take a turn. Flew out to left field his last time up. Two hits reached on an error back in the fifth and he ground out in the first. Makes him two for five so far. This one is hit a ton and this one's gonna get out. Two solo shots in the inning for UCCS. Both to left field, this one does make Nielsen moved just a little bit for the sixth big fly of the season for K or excuse me for Casey Campbell makes it a six run game 26 to 20 first pitch to Pastorello he loses the bat Hopefully, 
That was towards the visitor side of the field, so nobody in the on deck area. 0 and 1 on Pastorello. Struck out his last time up, grounded into a fielder's choice his first time after replacing Brady Latchman. That one's fouled out of play. 0 and 2 now with two outs. Strike three called. Two looking strikeouts in the inning after we hadn't seen any all day. And Bakovich strikes out the side, but they do get two solo shots. One from Stubbings, one from Campbell. It's 26 to 20 as we head to the ninth. Brennan Myers comes on for UCCS on the pitcher's mound. That's the sixth pitcher of the game for UCCS as he delivers ball one. The leadoff hitter, which is the top of the lineup in Jackson Woolwine. One, two, and three due up in the ninth for the Ore Diggers. This one's on the ground, has a chance to get through and will. So a leadoff base hit for Woolwine. That will bring up Andrews. A 6.75 ERA for Myers. No decisions on his year. This is just his fourth appearance for UCCS. One point two innings for Garrett Schreiber. Gives up four hits, two runs, no walks or strikeouts, face nine. One and one at the plate on Andrews. Forty-six runs in the score of this game. We're in the top of the ninth inning. Twenty-five hits for the Ore Diggers. Twenty for the Mountain Lions. Lots of big numbers across that scoreboard today. The biggest of which in the run department can't even be properly displayed as can only show one through nine on the scoreboard. 
per inning. So the 11 in the third for the Ore Diggers just shows there's one. It's two and two at the plate on Andrews. This one's on the ground through the right side for a base hit. Station to station goes Jackson Woolwine. Back-to-back leadoff singles. Brings up Nielsen with two on and nobody out. Yes. One tie. Gets past Steinberger. Both runners will move up. One oh misses two oh. Two and one now on the called strike. Nielsen watches another one go low. Three and one. This one's hit a ton. Might hang up, though, and it looks like it will as Iverson calmly slides over. He's going to try and make a play, but cutting it off is Vander Hodges, so another run will score. 27 to 20 now. Staying put at second base is Mason Andrews. Second sack fly we've seen today as Back in the third inning, Jackson Woolwine had a sack fly, bring home a run. 0-1 on hoteling. Came up twice in the seventh inning. Had a solo shot to lead off the inning, then came up, grounded to second to end that inning as that one gets away and up to third is Andrews. One one. Breaking ball didn't really go anywhere. Two and one. That one. I again. Three and one. Three one pitch inside outed through the left side for a base hit. Into score is Andrews, making it a twenty eight run game for the Ore Diggers. Twenty eight to twenty, our new score. Standing on first with an RBI single, his fourth RBI of the day for Adam Hoteling. Dermott takes ball one. Runner goes at first. Kind of a pitch out again. It's going to work out, but tough hop. Wasn't handled at second base. No tailing. 
Looks like he might be in a little bit of discomfort, but he pops back up to his feet, so he does look okay. For a moment, it looked like he may have Go down. tweaked his arm as it was an awkward slide into second base. 2-0 at the plate on McDermott. And that one hits him squarely in the back of the foot. Having to stay at second on the dead ball is O'Tailing. Usually he would move up, but since it made contact with the batter, the play immediately ruled dead. And headed into first is McDermott. Brings up Folsom. Folsom flew out to Casey Campbell his last time up. Nice sliding play made out there in shallow right field by Campbell to put Folsom away. That one just misses below the knees for ball one. That one's low as well. 2 0. Strike one. And now we go, use those fielder. Go, go Falls. Not done, dug out. Not done down there. Oh, 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 oh. Up, I'll say. That one just misses low, 3-1. We still have another game here today. Seven run, or excuse me, a seven inning game to follow the conclusion of this contest. That one's in the dirt, and off to first is Iverson, or excuse me, is Folsom. The bases are loaded with one out. High in the air. This is playable in foul territory for Stubbings. He'll make the grab. And Bonds is out number two. Neely Shu. Potentially the final batter of game one for the Ore Diggers. That one. Below the knees, ball one. This one on the ground, on a hop. Ronan Hella will go the short way to Pastorello at second. And that is the end of the Ore Diggers ninth. They get two more runs. It's a 28-20 to 20 game as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Mount Lions... Need nine to win it. Aaron Brackle 
Leading things off for the Mount Lions in their half of the ninth inning. Mount Lions need nine to get away with the victory. First pitch swinging, coming up empty. Aaron Brackles behind 0-1. On the ground a third, up with it McDermott. We'll throw across, one out. Owens in there for strike one on Hodges. Bakovic trying to get his first win of the season as this one's going to fall in for a base hit, trying to cut first and head to second. Hodges is going to get there. Stretching it to a sliding double and Hodges in scoring position for Hella with one out. Hung up just out of the range. Mason Andrews out there in right field. 21st hit of the game for UCCS. Swung on and missed the high fastball to open the at bat with Hella. Oh, one again hit into shallow right field. Going out, Bonds is going to make the catch this time. Returning to second is Vander Hodges. And Hayden Iverson comes to the plate with the Mount Lions down to their final out. First pitch in there for strike one. Oh one, again the curveball drops in. Oh and two. That one's low. That one's going to fall in right in front of Andrews. They'll hold Hodges at third. The first and third with two outs. Going to give Evan Steinberger another at bat. Curve ball in for a strike. That one's low, one and one. Steinberger struck out on a full count his last time up. Before that, he had a bases clearing three RBI double. That one's low, two and one. Grand slam for Steinberger in this game. That was back in the third inning to tie the game at 11. A strike called the outside half, two and two. Views across the board in the bottom of the ninth. 28 to 20, the ore diggers lead it. This one should end the game. Bonds coming on, we'll flip it to first. And the Ore Diggers take game one, 28 to 20. Jackson Bakovich 
Picks up his first win in his 12th appearance. Moves to 1-0 and on his season. The loss for the Mount Lions will go to Ryder Mancuso. He drops to 1-2 and two in his 13th trip to the mound in 2023. We do have more baseball for you here as we will have a seven-inning seven game after about a half an hour or so break. So don't go too far as you see the replays from this game as the Ore Diggers claim game one 28 to 20, an offensive game. For all of us here at UCCS, we appreciate you joining us for game one. Don't go too far as we'll have game two in just about half an hour's time. My name is Jake Ross signing off.